Hi, this is Gali Gofard. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to improve cellular energy, which is in other words, mitochondrial function for longevity and health. The energy of the cell is produced by converting the food that we eat and the oxygen that we breathe into energy inside an organelle found inside our cells. And this organelle is called the mitochondria. These small organelles are considered the batteries of life and are found in very large numbers in active organs and tissues where a lot of energy is needed, including the brain, muscles, and the heart tissue, and also in nerve cells, the kidneys, uh, the liver, the pancreas, and our eyes. Now, mitochondrial function is a significant factor in optimal health. The mitochondria are very, very sensitive to damage, leading especially to tiredness, but also to increased sensitivity to pain, memory loss, and many other symptoms involved in early aging. In this video, I will discuss how you can improve mitochondrial function to, and prevent its damage to enhance your overall well-being and help you lead a longer and healthier life. So first, let's explain the effects of mitochondrial function and dysfunction and how it affects our health. Now, since the mitochondria are powerhouses in our cells, they are essential for energy production and therefore their function is a huge indicator of how long and how well we will live our life. 2,000 proteins are required to make the mitochondria work. Age-related increases in oxidative damage and free radical production inside the body play a major role in mitochondrial dysfunction. Free radicals damage the mitochondrial DNA and in turn provoke mutations that alter mitochondrial energy production. So the more free radicals our body produces or is exposed to, the less energy our cells will make inside the mitochondria. Now, major mitochondrial dysfunction has been connected to many diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, autism, dementia, diabetes, Parkinson's disease, kidney disease, neurological problems, including seizures and developmental delays and learning disabilities. Really, the mitochondria is very, very critical for functioning and for our health. Even a slight dysfunction has been found to lead to early signs of aging, including memory loss, fatigue, graying of the hair, muscle weakness, many facial wrinkles, loss of muscle coordination, and visual and hearing problems. Now, testing for mitochondrial function is currently either very invasive or very expensive. Therefore, the best way is to look out for signs and symptoms that may point towards mitochondrial dysfunction that I just mentioned as in early aging, memory loss, and uh, things that point towards a low energy level on inside your cells. It's important to indicate that mitochondria are also very susceptible to nutrient deficiencies and to environmental toxins. Several commonly prescribed drugs also reduce the function of mitochondria, including antibiotics, statins, aspirin, and more, as well as illegal drugs that cause major damage to the mitochondria, including cocaine. Uh, so how can we actually improve our mitochondrial function? Well, number one is a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, nuts, and seeds with many essential nutrients and antioxidants these play a major role and can limit oxidative damage and prevent many nutrient deficiencies, thereby inducing mitochondria to produce more energy. Many studies also show that dietary restriction, the consumption of less food on a daily basis, as well as periods of fasting, will boost mitochondrial function. Uh, currently, dietary restriction is actually the only proven non-genetic treatment that clearly increases mean and maximum lifespan. Studies show that animals on calorie restricted diets produce fewer free radicals and also show decreased insulin signaling. You can check out my article and video on how to incorporate intermittent fasting into your life to boost mitochondrial function and all the many other health benefits. Now, supplements are also an important support for mitochondrial dysfunction. They help the mitochondria produce more energy and reduce accumulation of toxic compounds inside the cells, as well as reducing the like likelihood of nutritional deficiencies. 
Supplements that have shown to have the most positive effects on mitochondria include coenzyme Q10, creatine, the B-complex vitamins, alpha lipoic acid, and resveratrol. It is also recommended to exercise even though energy levels may be low in mitochondrial dysfunction. Now, the reason for this is that some mitochondria may be dysfunctional while others may be functioning absolutely normally. And the healthy mitochondria may boost the level of energy inside the cells back to normal, helping to avoid the symptoms. Also, building muscle mass is uh, uh, very important. Uh, through strength training, it can limit mitochondrial damage and even help people with Parkinson's disease. So as I mentioned, mitochondria are very susceptible to toxins and therefore you want to reduce your exposure to uh, toxins as much as you can. Uh, this is indeed true for most diseases. And the best way to do this is through the use of natural cleaning materials in your home and natural hygiene products making sure also that there is no buildup of mold inside your house and consuming organic food is an, another excellent way to reduce the toxic load on your body. All in all, it's very clear that the best way to improve your mitochondrial function is by leading a healthy and natural lifestyle and supplementing with a few nutrients. Eat many plant-based foods as much as you can. Exercise regularly, even though it may be difficult when your energy levels are low, even walking, even walking slowly is good to help you improve your situation. Uh, limit your exposure to toxins as much as possible using natural hygiene products and, and that's it. That's the best way to improve your mitochondrial function and to add years to your life, which it actually does. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell for notifications for every week I make a new video and um, with much helpful information, everything to do with nutrition and health. Also visit my blog at www.thegorillediet.com. Thank you very much for joining.